हेलो व्यूवर्स आई हैव बॉट अनदर पी ट्वेंटी लाइट टू मेक अ न्यू वीडियो इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू अबाउट रूटिंग दिस फोन इन दिस ईयर एंड आई विल ऑल्सो रिकॉर्ड सम वीडियोज अबाउट इंस्टॉलिंग कस्टम रॉम्स लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो व्यूवर्स फर्स्ट यू नीड टू एनेबल डिवेलपर ऑप्शन बाई टैपिंग सेवन टाइम्स ऑन बिल्ड नंबर you can go in setting system and there you need to tap on about phone and here you can see the latest emui version is running and uh, you need to tap on build number to enable developer options then you need to go in developer options and uh, enable oem unlock we was uh, you will also need bootloader unlock code in order to root this phone without bootloader unlock you cannot Uh, root this phone and bootloader unlock is not free you have to buy a code uh, from uh, me or from any other third party service okay oem unlock is enabled now you need to switch off your phone simply hold power button for uh, 10 seconds and uh, select the power of option and then you need to hold volume down key only volume down key and insert cable and phone should enter fast boot mode here we can see uh, frp is showing unlock and phone is showing on phone is showing locked now you need to unlock the bootloader and then phone will show phone unlocked we will go to computer and open Open CMD here XZ, and here you need to type uh, command. First, we will copy the code. We was you cannot this use. You cannot use this code because code is different for every phone. You need to buy for your phone. Okay, copy. We will copy the bootloader code, and then we will enter command fastboot space OEM space unlock, and then we will paste the code. and uh, press enter when you will press enter a warning screen will appear on your phone screen where you need to select using power up button oh uh, sorry volume up button and then press power button to confirm your decision and uh, once you press the power button phone will reboot and a message will appear about uh, the bootloader unlock and uh, phone will perform a factory reset so make sure you back up all your important data from your phone before proceeding with this process phone has just booted up and uh, now you need to go through the initial configurations make sure you skip everything you don't need to configure it uh, at the boot time you can do everything later in, from settings so we will try to reach your home screen as quick as possible okay once we are on home screen we need to connect to usb cable and allow files transfer mode we was make sure sd card is in your uh, uh, phone without sd card you will not be able to achieve uh, root access okay from computer we will copy two files one is magisk and second one is twrp recovery you need to copy these two files on your uh, sd card storage once you have copied you need to install magisk on your phone we was in older video i have shown you uh, i have rooted this phone with an older version of magisk but with this uh, magisk version which is uh, version 23 things have changed a lot so that is why i am making a new video so that you can um, root your phone with new method okay now magisk is installed you need to switch off your phone and disconnect phone from computer
Now hold volume down key and insert cable. Phone should enter fast boot mode. Now we will be able to see phone is showing unlocked. Okay, now we are going to proceed uh, with the flashing TWRP recovery on our phone. You need to type command fast boot space uh, space flash space recovery underscore RAM disk space and then simply drag and drop TWRP recovery image on the CMD screen and press enter. Once flashing has been successful, disconnect phone from computer and then hold volume up and power buttons simultaneously for at least 30 seconds and your phone should enter TWRP mode. We was because root in EMUI 9.1 root access is installed on recovery mode so on recovery partition so we will need to move this TWRP recovery to e recovery uh, section only then we can keep root and TWRP both so also the latest magisk does not allow you to flash through TWRP recovery so we will tap on install and then tap on install image and then tap on select storage and here you need to select SD card and uh, tap on this TWRP recovery image and then here you need to select e recovery we was make sure you select e recovery do not tick in recovery okay e recovery underscore RAM disk and then swipe to flash now TWRP, TWRP recovery has been installed on e-recovery partition tap on reboot and tap on bootloader now phone will enter fast boot mode again now we are going to flash root image on our uh, phone we will go back to computer and open the CMD and here we will type fast boot space flash space recovery underscore RAM disk and then simply drag and drop magisk patched image on the CMD and uh, press enter once flashing has been successful you need to disconnect phone from computer after disconnect you need to hold volume up and power buttons for 30 seconds at least for 30 seconds just like we enter TWRP recovery you need to do the same process but make sure phone is disconnected from computer and phone will not enter TWRP recovery I will tell you later how to access TWRP recovery but for your phone should uh, reboot normal mode and uh, now we will see if magisk has been installed so just a uh, few seconds until the phone reboots okay phone has started and now we will verify if uh, magisk has been installed open magisk manager make sure Wi-Fi is connected okay uh, you can see magisk 23.0 version is installed it means uh, root has been successful now you need to do few things first disable check updates option and then enable magisk hide and then tap on systemless hosts make sure you enable these options and then you need to go in modules section and here you need to search for props just type props and uh, a module with the 
name magisk hide props config will appear you need to install this module we was we are going to fix safety net on uh, this phone do not reboot after uh, installation of this module you just need to go back do not reboot and uh, again go to module section and search for riru we will install the riru module you can see it on top just install that module after installing this module you need to tap on reboot and let the phone start normally Phone just booted up. Now we need to download um, Safety Net Fix module. We was we cannot use uh, latest version of Safety Net module. We need to download an older version, 2.1.1. I don't know why, but latest version does not uh, fix the Safety Net. So we will have to download the older version. We will open the Chrome, and here you need to search Safety Net Fix. and uh, you need to select that uh, releases uh, search result where it is written releases you will go direct to the page where all safety net fix versions are available we need to search for 2.1.1 we will download this version it is downloaded i think okay need to provide permissions okay it is downloaded now we will open magisk manager and there we will install uh, this uh, this module you tap on install from storage and select that module you need to open downloads folder and here you can find that uh, module okay it is installed simply tap on reboot so we are almost uh, done with the root after reboot we will uh, check the safety net and then we will verify root access on this phone viewers uh, you need to go in uh, magisk hide options and there you need to hide google play services you can also hide any other app that you want to hide from root like banking apps and uh, anything else that is related to root you can hide it okay we will check the safety net also and uh, it should pass and you can see the it is saying success it means safety net is passed successfully and uh, so we have successfully rooted the latest EMUI 9.1 version uh, you can use same method for um, Nova 3e which is uh, uh, a same phone with different name okay now we uh, now I will show you how to enter uh, TWRP mode okay power off your phone and hold volume up and then insert cable only volume up button okay and connect it with PC or with charger and your phone will enter TWRP mode there is no other way to enter TWRP mode only this way you can enter TWRP recovery mode so basically from your phone stock recovery has been removed and e recovery also has been removed and uh, you can see TWRP recovery just boot it up so we cannot do uh, much in TWRP recovery but you have access if you want to do anything you can do here okay now I will uh, just 
uh, okay another thing that i want to show you that you cannot charge your phone while it's powered off you have to charge your phone by switching on because uh, the stock recovery and stock uh, uh, the stock recovery has been removed you cannot uh, charge your phone in power off mode when you will connect the charger phone will automatically boot up so you cannot uh, charge your phone on power off state so this is the only drawback of routing your phone Okay, now I will I, I will download uh, root checker uh, application you can also download it from play store but I don't want to add uh, uh, my google account uh, on this device because this device is only for testing purposes so you can uh, download it from any website you can download the apk file and uh, after installing this root checker you can verify root access uh, on your phone grant root access and you can see phone has been successfully rooted so this is how you can root your phone using latest magisk viewers make sure you don't update and don't factory reset uh, your phone while it is rooted thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel